Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today we are going to build an external HDD. Now, as you can see, I got this thing right here in a um, technical department store, and this is a case for an external HDD for a 2.5 inch uh, HDD uh, like they are using in laptops. Now, thing is, I also have a number of those HDDs because a while ago I found a bunch of uh, broken and busted up laptops at the dump. Now, I put those up on eBay and made some good money with that. And uh, I took out the HDDs for security purposes. So um, I do have three of these things, as you can see. One, two, three. <laughs> Oop, that was not good. Anyway, um, the one in the middle is the one we are going to use. Uh, for some reason they forgot to uh, tell you whether this was IDE or SADA on the box. Now, not too much of a problem because I have both IDE and SADA. And this, as you can see, maybe you can see, this is SADA right there. Now, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this uh, case. There it is. It's kind of stupid. I mean, as you can see, they, they are making this look a lot bigger on the box. But uh, as you can see, this is real nice, real small, real fancy. <laughs> I mean, this thing looks kind of expensive, I can tell you that much. Inside of the box, we're getting another box. and. Uh, that contains the USB cable to hook this up to whatever, and a little driver CD. This contains the driver that you, drivers that you need for any Windows version older than uh, Windows 89, I think. And right here, this is kind of an extra. They don't mention that at the box. I mean, they could have made this thing looking a lot better, really. But um, this is a case, and you can take the HDD and slide it into there, which uh, I'm not going to do right now, but uh, that's kind of nice. So now let's go ahead and uh, take this thing out of its uh, plastic. As you can see, that's real important. We're also getting some screws right there. You don't want to throw those away. <laughs> that would be kind of stupid. Anyway, uh, See if I can get rid of this plastic. Okay, there we go. Screws remain on the plastic, so uh, better keep that for a while. Now there it is, nice and shiny. They also has a, had a white version, but I thought, well, the white version looks kind of crappy, and it also looked like it would easily be scratched. So took this thing. You may want to zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. But uh, there, you, <laughs> it's kind of kind of complicated monitoring this. Um, but there you have it. And uh, now the way you open this up is you just pull this out, and that's it basically. And you then take the HDD right here. Now this is a uh, Fujitsu uh, HDD. It contains. Uh, Oh, what does it say? It is a 60 gigabyte HDD. Kind of, kind of small on the label, but uh, as far as I know, there are no jumper settings on SADA drives. So, uh, oh, basically, we just take this uh, little plug thingy and we pop that into there and hopefully it'll fit. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> there it is. Just plug it in and uh, then, okay, that's the underside. They do give you a little plastic right here which you should remove because uh, that is to insulate the whole thing against the case and... Uh, um, actually, I'm, I'm wondering if it would probably be kind of intelligent to uh, insulate the rest of the HDD as well. Hmm. Okay, I said to myself it's better to be safe than sorry. So I have some uh, regular 
uh, packing tape and uh, just uh, want to get a piece off of there. And uh, what I'm just doing is uh, I made sure there are no parts that uh, would be harmed by covering it all up. And uh, we're now just uh, go and uh, put this on top of there. And uh, okay. That. And another layer. And oops. Not supposed to be that way. And another layer. And uh, okay, maybe yet another one. So that piece was a little bit too short. Uh, okay. Now you don't want to put this all on on there too too tight, or I don't know. You know, you don't want to press it on there because. Uh, this uh, can have problems to come off again sometimes, but uh, I guess that's uh, quite a bit of a good idea to insulate the underside of the HDD because, of course, this thing is made of aluminum and uh, that's uh, probably not too good. But what we do now is we take these two components and uh, I better zoom out again. And we just stick one into the other and uh, put that in place. It's kind of complicated to get it in place. But uh, okay, there we go. That's it. Okay, we now, there we go. <laughs> we now have it assembled, and I now want to take these screws out of there. And uh, okay. <laughs> get rid of that. And uh, we now just take a small uh, Phillips screwdriver and uh, take one screw. I can uh, get that off of there. Kind of complicated. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> best to let it fall down on the, at the floor. I was able to catch it. But, uh, now we put the screw into the hole. It's kind of obvious, I guess. Uh, okay, not perfect. Got it kind of jammed into there, but uh, it'll hold it in there okay. So now for the other side and the other screw. So, cool pieces of aluminum that remained in there. Get rid of those. And once again, I guess everybody knows how to screw a screw into a hole. Okay, that screw is in there. Well enough, I guess. So, uh, there it is. The external HDD. Nice and small and uh, also looks kind of nice. So now let's go ahead and hook this up to the computer and see what happens. Here we are on the other computer and I just found out that uh, this USB cable is a special cable. You have uh, the plug for the HDD on the one end and you have two USB plugs on the other end as you can see. Now I guess that is in case the USB jacks can't deliver enough power for the HDD. So. Uh, well, I just want to put this one plug into my USB hub and I hope I don't overload that thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Get that into there. Kind of. ah, there we go. There we go. And now here we have our HDD and here we have the plug and let's plug this in. See what happens. Okay, we're getting a light on the side of it and I can't hear this thing starting. So, I guess we better go ahead and hook up the other plug right here. If I can make this happen. There we go. And uh, still, only the red light. So, uh, 
Let me fix that. Now I can tell you one thing. This HDD is hungry. I now have everything unhooked from the two USB ports that I have on my computer. And I'm going to put this cable into this jack. Those are both USB extension cords. I'm going to put that the other cable into this jack. And uh, now, let's see what happens when we plug in this thing now. Yeah, there it goes. And as you can see, the light turns red for activity, and whenever nothing's happening, it turns green. Maybe able to see that. And uh, of course, there is still a bunch of stuff on this HDD. This just came out of a laptop, so uh, I'm not going to take a look at that. Okay. So you can see there used to be a Windows on this thing. Get all the files for that. So now everything that's left to do is to delete all the stuff off of there. And then I'll have a nice little external HDD. And I really think this looks kind of nice. Let's see how this uh, sleeve fits it. Okay, kind of complicated to get it into there, I can tell you that much. Probably don't want to leave it in there while using it, but um, just to try it. Well, that's that's very tight. But, uh, okay, as you can see, that fits. Just a plain black case. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you again soon.